Hi, welcome to Doug Does Stuff. I'm Doug, and today we're on day two of polishing up this old 1997 Four Winds 240 Horizon. On the table is a whole lot of Meguiar's products, and we're going to throw everything at it that we got. Uh, I picked up some Merca Thousand Grit wet sandpaper. We're going to start there. Then we're going to go to the wool pad, probably with the power cut, and then from there we're going to come back do the high gloss polish um, and then the marine wax we also have some chemical guys hiding back there for the carpets on the inside we have our diluted um, soapy water for the pads and we're going to be using a harbor freight drill master don't even sell it anymore but i've had it for years um, high speed polisher uh, adjustable of course and then we have the uh yeah it's another harbor freight uh, dual action polisher. Uh, already on the boat, let's take a quick walk around. We did, we took off the decals the other day. You can, uh, you can kind of see them if you, if I catch the light right. And then we compounded, we started with the Meguiar's 49. Didn't really work that well. We stepped it up to the one step compound, the 67. Did a better job, but you can still see there's some hazing in there. Uh, so we're going to take another little walk around. You can see the old decals, you know, things like this that I want to get out if possible. Still kind of hazy. I'm going to scoot here around the back of the boat. Uh, so we did up to here. If you look over there, you can see that it's much more oxidized. And this is the side we're going to start on today. Uh, we're going to start on this side with the wet sanding. If it goes well, well, we're going to start back here. If it goes well, we'll do the whole boat, and then we'll move around to the other side and get the other side going. All right. So uh, stick along. We're going to go between some hyperlapse and some talking, and hopefully we're going to get this old girl all polished up and ready to be put back in the water. All right, before we get started here, I just want to make sure you understand I'm not a professional. I watched a lot of videos on YouTube. I stayed at a Holiday Inn Express last night. And I'm going to give it a go. I may mess shit up. I may not. It may look wonderful. But you're going to do this at your own risk. So here's the plan. The boat's already been washed down thoroughly. Uh, and decals have been taken off. We're going to lube it up. We're going to start wet sanding. I think I'm going to do this back corner. And then... Um, well, I think we're going to do the compound and all that just to see how it turns out before I spend the whole time on, on the entire boat. So let's get going, watching this real time. Uh, I'll stop it in a little bit. So let's get this all moved up. You do have the generator going. That's nice and moody. We're going to put this on low. This is one, maybe, maybe two. We'll move up the pad. All right. Not going to lie. I'm nervous. We're going to work side to side, up and down. I'm not putting any pressure on this. I'm just keeping it in contact with the boat. Up and down. You can see the red coming off and starting to drip down it means I'm cutting into the into the gel coat. I'm gonna speed this up just a little bit. Um, thousand grit might not be enough to cut this. Um, those decals aren't really changing, but we're gonna give it a go. Let's give this a little bit and see where we end up.
I'm going to spend some extra time where the decals were. Just because I think those are high spots. Uh, spray this down. It's it. I don't know if you can see that dirt and red coming off, but it's uh, yeah. Woo! I tell you, that is scary seeing all that red paint coming down. I know it's just old gel coat being stripped off, but still scary. Um, you know, I thought uh, maybe I will hit down there. Maybe I'm just going to hit down there with the with the uh, the wool pad and, and the cut. Uh, not really worry about it too much. Um, let's do this. Let's let's hit the pause button for now. I'm going to do a little more work. Come back, dry it off, and show you where we're at. So I've spent a few more minutes on it. Uh, it's just as hazy, uh, obviously, because you know you're scuffing it up with scratches. I did try to work this. You could see. Uh, it's really now showing up the the difference there and if you if you put your finger over it Ever so slightly you can feel the difference between the heights there of that and then that So the question is, you know, I don't know if this boat's ever been wet sanded the thousand grit uh, It definitely I mean come on it definitely uniformed the haze right um, you can see over here where I wasn't able to get to the difference between that and that um, and around the side of the boat you can see where I stopped right here it goes from there to there um, so it definitely it definitely did something I have a feeling because of the oxidation on the back side of this boat I'm gonna need to go to like maybe 600 and then go to thousand um, so I don't want to work it too hard what I am gonna do is I'm gonna go get the power cut right now uh, the Meguiar's power cut and see what that does and we're just going to go through the process right here in this little section because if not i got to order something from amazon all right so uh here we are we're ready to go um brand new wool pad on here going to use one of these to try and get out all of the fuzz It is a brand new pad. All right, so that was about three. Let's drop this thing down to uh, between one and two on this thing. Um, so what we're going to do is a brand new pad. So I have a feeling it's going to suck everything up. Oh, we got to just open this up. Shake well. Come on, hard this thing is to shake when it's full. Hard. Shake well. Yeah, I tried. All right, let's see what happens here. I'm going to put a couple rings on there. And then, so it doesn't go everywhere, let's uh, kind of put it all over. All right, here we go. Might have been too much. I know, I'm in your way, aren't I? That must suck. I'll try to do it this way. Up, down, left, right. That's hard. I'm, I'm a righty. Also, not gonna lie, this is a pad from Harbor Freight. It's leaving wool everywhere. So 
So the product direction say, uh, spread evenly over surface, overlapping movements, ensure uniform coverage. We did that. Wait until product is nearly dry, immediately wipe off with a towel. Best result, follow up with 67. And a wool pad. Hey, we're going to do that. dryish. Take our towel here. Man, there's a lot of wool flying around. I might not recommend those Harbor Freight ones, by the way. I might recommend something better. I don't know if they all do that, because, you know, I don't do this on a regular basis, but, yeah. Alright, so, here's the deal. Let's look at this if you're still watching i know this is a longer video isn't it you i mean you can start to see i can start to see my reflection gosh darn it the one thing i really wanted was to get rid of these lines and that's just not happening and i think it's just because the back of the boat is so oxidized that it is what it is there All right so i should get my stainless ah, i don't want to do that all right so and take you uh hit the pause button here and take you in for a closer look so i mean look at that where we didn't have shine before even over here i mean you can see a little bit but i did all of this with the mcguire 67 the one step and it didn't bring it back over here you can see how it was look into how it is i mean it's working pretty good a combination of the wet sand and the 91 i think is doing a nice job I mean, do I really want to get a 600 and go through this, or do I want the boat in the water this year? I think I want the boat in the water this year. So, it's doing a nice job. I might hit it twice. Uh, I might hit it one more time with the 91, and then I'm going to work my way. Oh, I'm going to come back, and I'm going to hit this with the next step, just to see how it looks, and maybe I'll even wax it, just to, you know, see. But anyway, uh, I'm going to put this in hyperlapse now, so uh, stick around. All right, so I was wrong about following up with the uh, high gloss polish. It is the one step compound that we're gonna follow up with on a wool pad. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do that right now. And then we're gonna go to the last step, I think, is the high gloss polish on a, on a foam pad before I go ahead and wax this thing. So, off the hyperlapse you go. let's get a closer look now we did uh the one step compound twice we did the power cut twice we did the one step twice we are using these pads from harbor freight tougher buffer but they're made in the usa i mean that's cool i like that um we also wet sanded first so i mean look at that i mean it's got a shine to it you can still see the decals here on the back of the boat but it is significantly better um, if you look in close, it's not going to let you, like, uh, just barely, like right there, you can see like cracking. Uh, I guess it's where the decals were and they were sun beaten and all that. So, I mean, that, you can still feel them. You can still feel the, the decal areas. Like I said, I think I would have to go to the next level. But from afar, unless you get the sun correct... You're not really, you can't really see them. And like I said, I think it's going to get better as I go down the boat. You can see it like right here where I wasn't able to get with the buffer. That's hazier. You can see where I stopped. So it's actually doing a really nice job. And I did hit down here uh, 
with uh, the one step in in the 67 so now let's see what happens when we go to the next step and we put on the high gloss polish hopefully shine 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 let's see all right so we're washed we're washed we're dried um, I'm gonna try this small area over here with the Meguiar's 45 polish um, I was gonna use a um, the DA but after reading the directions the, all the other Meguiar's say to use this doesn't say that it says to put a small amount on a pad apply it wait for it don't let it dry and then buff it out so here we go here's a small amount don't really know what a small amount is using light pressure spread product evenly working one section at a time yeah. Up there. I'm gonna show you something. Right, hold on, bud. It's inside. Oh yeah. In the bedroom. Oh. All right. So up down, up down, left right, left right. Da start. Uh. Do not let dry. Wipe product evenly. Working one section at a time. Wipe off. That looks darn good. Now this is going to be a process. All right, so what this says is um, that, in case you're wondering, the difference between a polish and a wax, preferred by boat and RV uh, enthusiasts, number 45 high gloss polish contains rich polishing oils to feed the pores of the gel coat, producing a high gloss finish. What is the difference between polishing and waxing? The polish can be des best described as a conditioner that restores valuable oils to feed and nourish the gel coat and fiberglass surface, which creates brilliant high gloss. Waxing protects the high gloss finish from the environmental. So I guess the next step is we're going to have to wax this. I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to wait until I finish the boat. But I am going to say that this looks like the process that I'm going to go with. I mean, you can see us in the thing over there. We're going to go with the wet sander. Then we're going to go with the 91. Then we're going to go with the 67. Uh, then we're going to go with the 45. And then we'll come back and wax it. Hey, bud, spray that over there for me. Just the boat. No, over here. Spray that right there. I want to see how it comes off. Oh. It comes off in sheets, which means it needs wax. All right, cool. Um, for, so for the rest of this video, you are going to be on hyperlapse as I work my way around the boat, and uh, enjoy. All right, so I think I made the decision here. Um, I've wet sanded all of this uh, already. You can't, uh, yeah, maybe that, that's a good, that's a good uh, picture of it. You can see with the thousand, I was burning through uh, pads here and not really doing much. I'm um, taking off like the top layer of oxidation, that's about it. So I, I purchased some 500 Aberlon pads, 500 grit, 
and we're going to go forward with those. I mean, I still, I've done all this already. You can still see the difference there. Um, I think that's, you know, if you have the oxidation that I have, uh, where it's pretty white here, uh, see if I can get it like that, get yourself the deeper cut pads and then go from there. Otherwise, you're going to burn through thousands. This is a learning process. Hey, like and subscribe uh, if you haven't already. So I guess what uh, I'm, I've decided to do is use the power cut on the white. Um, I've, I've already started. I've already done from the back of the boat up to here. And you can see, even if you don't think it's oxidized, this is going to be hard to tell. It's a lot better in person. Let's see if I can get, see like right uh, there and there right between those two spots. And it's coming out pretty good. I mean, I'm not spending a ton of time on it. I'm just going back and forth, up and down, all the way around. Plan is to hammer that out. Um, I was, I did want to work in here, but uh, all of that black grit, you can't really see it. Maybe under the boat you can see it. Anyway, I think it's all road stuff that we got to get out of there before we try and polish that. Here's what we did before, looking good. I think it's going to look better with the uh, five and then thousand. So anyway, uh, follow along here as we go. All right, so another long day of back and forth doing stuff, working on the boat, cutting the grass, going to the dump, playing with the kid. Um, but what I got done today is I got the white part done. Uh, I shouldn't say that. I got from the red down to the first, uh, the first chine there. So I got to do the rest of the boat underneath um, at some point, but. I did it, hit it with the 91 uh, Meguiar's cutting compound, heavy cut. Came back with the 67, uh, what is it? it it's comp, it's one step compound, it's got polish in it as well. I think it did a really nice job. I tried to hit uh, all of this black stuff and it, it came out in some places beautifully, other places it didn't. But it really, really shined up the boat nice. Um, it's it's like glass. I didn't put the polish on yet. Let me go to the back here. This is what I did earlier in the day. Um, I didn't put the polish on yet. The 45 Meguiar's. Because um, I got more to do still. I want to. I got to do in here. But I got to power wash it first and get off all that road stuff. Um, I do have a couple Hi. issues right there and then around the side over here a couple other nicks and stuff that i'm gonna uh, go to spectrum color and get uh some compound and not compound it's been a long day gel coat that matches and put it together uh put it on there so yeah i mean looks great um stay long we'll we'll get to it i ordered the 500 grit that's kind of scary to me but we're going to give it a shot so thank you again and like and subscribe